<clears throat> what is a thought? An idea? Isn't it funny how we claim ownership of them? We don't know where they come from. We don't know what they are, what their substance is. We can own a house, we can own a car, and a million more pointless things. But the concept of owning a thought or an idea, we didn't do anything to achieve the thought. And the idea just pops into our mind. Isn't that what people say? It just popped into my mind? Imagine, if you will, you are sitting on a park bench and all of a sudden, a sandwich just appears out of thin air right next to you. It just pops into your reality. Would you claim ownership of that sandwich? Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't. Most people, though, would be so taken back by the fact that some mysterious sandwich just appeared to them. In fact, it would probably scare some people. So why is it that we freak out when something physical pops into our reality? But when a thought pops into our reality, we don't even notice it. I mean, really think about this. There is, of course, deductive reasoning, problem solving, and other faculties of the mind that are methodical. But ideas, inspiration, creativity, epiphany, what is the source of these things? I mean, what's really going on here? These are some of the most fundamental characteristics of existence. Even a simple conversation such as this one yields a deep philosophical discussion on the nature of mind and reality itself. I will say this, though. We, as a people, have accomplished a great deal while remaining almost completely unconscious. Imagine then what we could do if we could just wake up. <laughs>